apparently have to hold your hand. <laughs> yes, you haven't given me these special safety reindeer pieces <laughs> from this side. Yeah. I just wanted to say um, it's uh, it's a great privilege to be asked to do this. It's my first ribbon, in fact, um, so it's a special moment in my life as well. And uh, this is an excellent place, uh, an excellent display within a fantastic museum and a credit to the people who have created it and restored it against the odds because what it tells is uh, it's a fantastic story. It's a, an espionage thriller that ultimately ends rather, rather tragically for its hero, but it's, it's much better than Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy and I could actually follow some of this. Um, <laughs> the other thing I think is, is quite important about Bletchley Park in general is, is that in the 30 years since I was an undergraduate, there has been a fantastic development in computer science, um, which is a remarkable thing. Um, back then, you know, it was pursued by the, the rather gangly blokes, mainly, who stayed up at night a lot and didn't eat properly and had things like a, a Commodore or a Sinclair ZX computer. This was only 30 years ago, and now you have, you, you know, your personal enigma problem in your pocket and so on. But the, the problem with this rapid development is that it's becoming very difficult to understand what actually happens in one of these things? I'm not talking about how you download things, how you program it, how you, how you develop an app. I'm talking about the actual building blocks of digital computer science. Now, Alan Turing, as everybody says, is the father of computer science. And if you come here and you look at things like the bomb and the Enigma machine, and if you dare read some of his papers and then you know, move into the new computing museum, you will actually begin to understand the very, very fundamental building blocks of computer science. They're big for one thing. They're things like valves and light bulbs. You will get it. And I think that and the development of that Blackberry and Apple Pie thing that you can now buy for 20 quid that teaches you how the programming of a computer actually works. I think that is a, a very, very important thing. This is where it started, effectively. This had the world's first dedicated computer center. So I think if you come here and look at that, you will go away with a greater understanding of one of the most important developments of my lifetime. Um, so anyway, without further ado, Scissors are in good condition. I declare this exhibition of the life and works of Alan Turing. Oh, I knew I'd get that. Right. <laughs> 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 Thank you. I'm going to take you round now to meet various people and see some exhibits. Please do. So, can you move off this way? You, you can come in there, but please do walk <laughs> in through where I've cut the ribbon because it's symbolic. <laughs> 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 we'll fight through this way.